example, you could say, well, the pinnacle for him would be just being able to connect with Steve Winwood, you know, because Steve is someone, the way I kind of wrote about it was that Steve was kind of his vehicle to be able to express himself in the way that he was most actualized as a musician, because Steve could do things that other people couldn't do. So you could easily say that just connecting with Steve would be whatever, however that happened and, you know, all the things you could say about it, uh, that that would be the pinnacle for him. But I also thought that, um, you know, again, I think Chris understood certain things that maybe other people didn't understand. And one of the things I think he really understood really early was that um, music is about technique to a fraction and much, much more about emotion. And he articulated that in this interview that he did in 1963. So it's 1963, there's no traffic, there's no, you know, he was in a local band, you know, playing in very small little bars and pubs and stuff, but he already understood what music was. And the thing of it is, he never changed that to the end. In other words, he knew that real music is about something coming out of you, that is your inner self that you get to share with the rest of the world if you're lucky and that that's the most valuable thing about it and he stuck with that he that's the way he developed himself so i think if there's a pinnacle to that i think it's maybe that that he made that connection um the other thing that might be thought of as kind of like a, a crucial thing um is that you know having gone to art school is that he was able to make a connection between painting and music where you know if you're going to paint something you have to have again some skill and then you have to be able to have a constructive quality you have to know where to put this and this and how it's going to be organized and then when you get all done that organization and all the strokes is the art and i think he took that and he kind of translated that into music and again that's where maybe someone like steve was critical because chris was able to um, understand what needed to happen, but he couldn't do it all of it, all himself. And he needed other people to help him get to where he needed to go. So I think that, you know, those things together, that's Chris.